the third quarter final of this Legends League series England taking on Zimbabwe and the winner will take on the winner between West Indies and Pakistan Zimbabwe have elected to bat first Darren Goff to Alistair Campbell first delivery and he'll get off the mark with a single and put Neil Johnson on strike a tremendous all rounder for Zimbabwe oh it's clobber that one that is one of the greatest shot you'll ever see off the back foot wow that is <laughs> not really back foot just moving the front foot outside and just smashing it Goff to continue has done it again this time off the front foot and one bounce into the fence Neil Johnson rocking early Graham Swan into the attack and it's going to be difficult to play spinners on this wicket plenty of turn on offer we'll see how Zimbabwe goes here Oh, he's cleaned him up. That is a ripper. Pitch down middle and leg stump. That is literally unplayable. He tried to play towards the mid on, but <laughs> huge turn there. And to flint off Brendan Taylor. And he smashed that one. And that will go to the bounty. Taylor, one of the best batsmen to represent Zimbabwe ever. 22 for 1. And Johnson goes high again. He clears the infield, gets another boundary. He is looking in good touch. Swan to continue and 3 overs 26 for 1 will be single there field a bit too slow no runs so spinners putting some breaks on the scoring and another dot ball so 29 for 1 is gone now Brendan Taylor under pressure after that quite over from Swan going for a big hit and he's gone for 8 and if flower now are the greatest wicket keeper batsman ever this time gets an inside edge goes to the boundary down the wicket goes Johnson. It's a fielder there and brilliant effort. We'll come back for two though. Five was done. 38 for two Zimbabwe. And we have Ashley Giles now. Another restrictive spinner here from England. It'll be tough to score. Runs of these, <laughs> these brilliant spin bowlers that England are feeling. And Johnson goes high. This is going to be trouble. Just one bounce. And safe in the end. Comes back for two. I know what's left. Zimbabwe needs to get a move on Johnson. Oh, he smoked that one. That is flat. It's going straight to the fielder. That is some shot. And that is an even better catch. That's a screamer. That was going at the rate of knots. And he plugged that out. Goes for 24. Last country. Once held the record for the highest individual score in ODI cricket. And he's joining Andy Flower. Flower goes hard. Gets a thick edge and gets a boundary. Zimbabwe need more of that. 7.2 overs, 51 for 3. Cuts it, but it'll only be a single. Coming back for 2, no. Some confusion and sent back in the end. That's another edge. Andy Flower seems to be dealing in edges tonight. Good shot straight to the fielder and lucky. <laughs> no direct hit there. He's pulled that one and that is going straight to the square leg as well. So Zimbabwe now folding apart. Run rate dropping, wickets falling, commentary goes for three. Andy Blignot now joins Andy Flavo. A good shot down the ground. It's kind of a front foot flick, but somehow gets a couple of runs. And Blignot gets a single here. It's in the gap. They might think of two. No. So runs are not coming as easily as Zimbabwe wants. It, is, uh, it has been a struggle here. And another single now. This is the 10th over. Just 70 on the board so far. That's a shot delivery. Pulls it. Two fielders there. That's in the gap. But puts in the dive. And once again, the fielding on display has been superb. Ian Blackwell, third spinner from England. Which will make things even tougher for Zimbabwe now. And they're just getting singles here. Can't do much here. Top class spin bowling. And another trying some innovation. Not working. Uh, this time connecting for another single. 11 overs done, 77 for 4. The spinners are definitely choking Zimbabwe. Yeah, that's trouble. No, wicket keeper missed to flake the bales there. And that will be another single. Really, really choking the batsman. The run flow here, the spin. And that's finally a big hit from Andy Flower, but going straight to the fielder and the end of a really struggling innings from flower did not expect that from him 28 from 24 
Sean Irvine joining Blake Nord, but Ian Blackwell giving nothing away. Shot fast, and this is absolutely brilliant bowling. And gets bat on ball somehow. I think Zimbabwe have resigned to the fact that they'll just take what they are going to get. Two overs left in this game, and they'll be looking to score 90, 95, 100 at best because the bowling has been really tough. And once again, good shot, but straight to the fielder. Nothing can be done here. And the skill gap is really visible. Now England just schooling the Zimbabwe batsman. That's in the air and in the gap. Finally, they get a boundary after a long, long while. And it is Andy Blignot, the big all-rounder. Graeme Swan to bowl the last over and is gone. That was a perfectly timed cut shot. The wicket keeper just taking it out of nowhere. Can't really do anything about that. And Douglas Murray here and he is gone as well. <laughs> Unplayable bowling here from English spinners, especially Graeme Swan. The last ball, another dot ball. And Zimbabwe finish on a paltry 94-7. Just really Neil Johnson who took the attack to the opposition and other than that, Everyone else really struggling to put bat and ball bowling wise as Graham Swan three overs five runs three wickets and Johns as well picking up three wickets and they just need 91 runs to win. Marcus Trescothic joining Kevin Peterson and it will be Neil Johnson to bowl first delivery smashes it and boundary here for England they'll be looking to finish it off quickly and this has been. There's not been the day for Zimbabwe. Another cut shot, another boundary. This is all too easy. England, one foot in the finals, in the semi-finals. In fact, that's an edge. And the third boundary of the over. Kevin Peterson now facing hate streak. Oh, going for a big, mighty shot there. This time in the gap. It's another boundary. They're dealing in boundaries. Four of them so far, England. A real long gun now. Oh, that's a big hit. That will be the first six of the night for England. And the required rate just... They just need 69 from 77. And they might look to win this under 10 over. Oh, that's another slog from Peterson. He is just blindly heaving his bat. He does not care. He knows that he has got this match in the pocket. And this time to the fine leg. Too easy. Too easy. This and four bowling from Alonga. Nobody there, just bowling on the pads. It's trick. The only bowler who has looked <laughs> at least somewhat effective here. Shot delivery, pulls it, and Trescothic with another boundary. He is looking super confident. Straight and mid on. Oh, it's a bit too wide. Been another couple of runs here for England. Moves to 37. Raven Price, first sign of spin. And steps down the wicket to smash it into the crowd. Now, uh, England spin bowlers were really effective. Let's wait and watch how the Zimbabwe bowler, especially Raymond Price, goes here. But he has been treated with disdain by Peterson so far. Oh, that is too easy. Just, just a great flow of the bat. And that has gone to the boundary. 50 partnership as well. This is a flick shot. There is a fielder there. That is of no use. That's another six. Using the pace of heat streak. Trescothic on 38 from just 20 deliveries. Oh, that's a good delivery. Heat streak has bowled decently well. As the last ball of his spell. Oh, that's a terrible delivery. Just as I was praising him. Shot and down the leg side. Another six for Marcus Trescothic. Raymond Price continuing 63 for no loss. Just 28 to win. That is stand and deliver stuff from Kevin Peterson. And that is a huge one. Oh. This is an absolute mauling from England here. He's gone after it again this time. <laughs> Did not get anywhere close to the first result. Shonar Wine into the attack. Starts off with another terrible delivery. And small ground. Another six. Oh, this is Trescothic at his best. He reaches his 50. Just 25 deliveries. Strike rate of 200. And just eight needed, couple of shots can do it. And he blinked not. Plenty of bowlers for Zimbabwe, but none of them working. Another six, this time straight down the ground. Just one to win. And that's it. And <laughs> finishes it off with another six. And what a thumping victory here for England legends. 
63 from 31. Marcus Tesoro, the Peterson on 33. Bowlers taking a beating every single one of them. And England into the semi final and they will face the winner of West Indies versus Pakistan. We'll be back for that match. Until then, it's goodbye from me. Take care.